tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hi there, I'm just getting rid of several books on Maya which I purchased in the early 2000s. They're all completely outdated and uh, I only want to keep the ones uh, I personally wrote, like this one, that one. Uh, this one was translated in several languages as you can see. Uh, anyway, it's totally outdated, it's so old really. Okay, uh, I want to talk about something which is, uh, well, we're all learning, and I'm learning too. When you go to Windows and go to the Bifrost browser, you see lots of things here. And uh, this section is growing, where you can start off from, well, with a prefab object. And uh, one of the new ones, new in November 2019, is the burning barrel. So I double click it with the key A, uh, make it really big. So this is the node sequence which creates a burning barrel effect. Let's have a look at this effect. And Maya has to think about it, ev evaluating all the nodes computer th simulations always have to do with patience. There is no light in the scene as you can see. Here is the outliner, no light. Two Bifrost graph objects, BIF1 and BIF2. And this is the graph editor here, the burning barrel, which we've just seen with all the nodes. So let's stop it here. Render it away with Arnold. Patience. Of course, when you render the whole sequence, this will look much more sophisticated and dynamic. That's the power of simulations, is uh, motion, basically. Anyway, this is what it's about, and uh, it's quite complex. I kind of understand what's going on here. I create a mesh sphere, then I add more um, noise to that sphere, then I change the temperature. That's a little bit early for me. I would have thought the temperature comes after the source fuel or whatever. So we have an air and a fuel, and then we do the simulation. We have colliders, we have a dissipation influence, we have combustion settings, etc. Finally, we assign a material, and we create a mesh cylinder that's the cylinder we've just seen in the scene we don't actually need it and then it goes into the output now uh, if you want to re duplicate this network you might think okay tab key and create mesh sphere create and here you see actually the mesh sphere is right here so you find that first node here by searching for it. However, the second one, add mesh noise, add, you don't find add mesh no, um, noise, you only find add and add points. And the same applies to the temperature. Vary temperature, we only have vary source property. However, the random value is an array which you can change later so this is basically here and the same applies to source air source fuel they're all here the colliders the dissipation influence even I think the dissipation influence is also there dissipation influence yes you find it here but you don't find the add mesh noise and the vary temperature here so what you can do to learn how these nodes work, you can do this, double click, add mesh noise, and then you see this. And uh, when you press A, you see the whole <laughs> lineup. Uh, this is uh, just something you don't want to see because uh, it's too difficult. 
imagine you ha you'd have to create such a sequence of nodes and each of them consists of 10 or 20 subnodes this is just too tedious to to work with but uh, what i can suggest you to do is co copy this control c create a new graph delete the input because we will have another input and paste the add noise right here so when you double click it you see the same as before but now it's in a brand new window here now we can delete this this and the burning barrel because we're creating a new object now the object well how about a cone and let me see the polycone we want more subdivisions and we might subdivide the caps as well the cap we can round the cap if we want why not so we have lots of geometry right here now we go back to the bifrost graph we can double click it or just I minimize that w window so it's uh, right here now we middle mouse drag the cone into this field middle mouse um, the mesh goes blue into the geometry here and um, now noise is being added to our cone out geometry output that's all we do here so we learn to apply this mesh noise here and uh, this is what you see isn't that an amazing structure here pick the biff one node and move it to the side so this is the randomness which we just created by copying and pasting that node from a combustion file now you can actually dig into these things add mesh noise has parameters if you don't see the parameters right here go to edit and then parameter editor and here they are the magnitude is currently set to 0 0.2 with a frequency of 10 10 10 and a speed which is not crucial for us but uh, if I move this a little bit down here and change the magnitude to 1 I get a quite uh, harsh randomization here you also can go into this node again and check out what you can do here for example click on the curl noise and to change the seed the seed is just basically a starting point for the randomness it doesn't increase the randomness it just uh, changes the randomness 888 for example so as you can see this uh, looks different now so when you find a complex node system here in the bifrost graph just copy one element which you're interested in and which is not provided by default and explore it in a new scene that's all I wanted to tell you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.